Welcome to the Harkening Deer Podcast, a podcast of contemplative spiritual practice through Christ-inspired meditation. Harkening Deer is a Thirsty Deer studio production, and I am your grateful host, Sean J. Stevens. If you have not done so already, I encourage you to hit the subscribe button, give a star rating, and write a review on iTunes or whichever platform this podcast comes to you from. And if you find the meditations of Harkening Deer to be fruitful in your life, I welcome you to consider becoming a monthly patron at patreon.com slash hearkeningdeer. The link, as always, is in the show notes. To begin this meditation, let us review our facilitation of accommodating recommendations for meditation, otherwise known as our farms. Farm 1. No Judgment When it comes to meditation, do not worry about whether you are doing it right. There is no wrong way to meditate. Remember that everyone's mind will wander, especially at first. If you have distracting thought while meditating, simply see it and let it go, with no self-judgment. Farm 2. Be still and know that Yahweh is God. Calm your spirit, relax your body, and still your mind. Know that Yahweh is one, and that Yahweh is for you, not against you. I invite you, if you find it helpful, to close your eyes and get comfortable. Be still. Farm 3. Embrace a heart, mind, and spirit of peace, joy, and redemptive love. Do nothing from rivalry or conceit, but in humility count others more significant than yourselves. Do nothing from rivalry or conceit. Do nothing from rivalry or conceit. But in humility, count others more significant than yourselves. Do nothing from rivalry or conceit. But in humility, count others more significant than yourselves. Sometimes this can be a difficult message. Sometimes we do not have a high enough opinion of ourselves. And sometimes we get taken advantage of as a result. But I believe that if everyone applied this philosophy to their thoughts, words, and actions, no one would get taken advantage of. There would be no more bullies. And let us view this scripture in light of having compassion for those in the world less fortunate than ourselves. Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility count others more significant than yourselves. Let us not be selfish. Let us be humble. Let us put the needs of others above our own needs, but let us make sure we 
take care of ourselves as well. And let us do what we can to make sure those less fortunate than us are taken care of as well. Let us take care of one another. Let us take care of one another.